All right, and since we're still in this great county, allow me to hand now the mantle to my colleague Trevor, who is having a conversation with the boss of this great county on what to expect, what is happening, and what has been happening. Trevor. You're absolutely right, Zainab. I'm speaking to the boss, His Excellency Mudomi Njuki. Thank you so much for making time for us and for hosting us in the great county of Tarakaniti. Thank, thank you very much. And uh, I really appreciate uh, for the first time in history to be hosting this show on the soil of Tarakaniti. Brilliant. We are proud of, of that. And we are, we absolutely. Are let's, let's just get into it, His Excellency. We were, we were at the trading center sometimes back, and two issues came out. The traders claimed that they were not given enough time to relocate because they've been informed to leave from the roadside. Is that the true state of the matter? Well, you know, it's every change comes with uh, joy and sometimes with resistance. Yeah. Uh, those who are claiming they have not been given enough time, they would, they, they would like maybe to continue enjoying um, vending things on the streets while they have markets that are now ready for them to occupy. Of course, uh, to most of the small scale traders, they may think that uh, being on the street is more lucrative because you're on the path of customers, but it's not a conducive environment for them to be able to serve the customers. It's better when they get to the market so that everybody has an equal opportunity, they have variety, because customers like going to where they can be able to get everything, like one-stop shop. Because yeah. if you're on the streets selling your, your tomatoes, Another customer who wants to get tomatoes and maybe get uh, cabbage and get something else will go to a place where you can find everything in, under one roof. Yeah. So it's easier when we put them under one roof because they access more customers and more conveniently. But were they involved in the decision making? Of course, definitely they were involved in the decision making. The markets in the CIDP, there was public participation that you want us to build for your market here. But in the meantime, yeah. most of the traders who are occupying the space where the markets are at the moment, uh, we allow them to move out temporarily, occupy the streets as we build the, the market. But now they, they have found maybe the streets are more lucrative because they are on the path of customer. They feel uh, they find it hard to go back okay. to the market where they were operating before, which and is now more modern. Yeah. They don't have to carry the things in the evening. Uh, when when they, when they close, they lock them up there. They uh, under the custody of watchman who will take care of them. Yeah. And there they just to trade and then the following day they come back and continue the business. And the other concern that they raised was market for their produce, especially the farmers who were in the village. There was a plan by the leaders to meet and create a market for the produce of the farmers, but they say that has not happened. Uh, the especially the issue of green grams. Well, the issue of the green grams is, uh, is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a very touchy issue actually, because uh, in Darkanidi you realize uh, most of the regions where we, we grow the green grams, there is no other cash crop. That is the only one that resembles a cash crop. And yeah. therefore, when you produce more than enough for us to consume, it is it is only uh, expectational that we sell the rest. And when you don't find the market, it is a big problem. Yeah. And I can tell you that this is a problem that cuts across about six counties that are selling the green grams. It is one of the most uh, nutritious uh, legume in, in Kenya. And uh, we have made it a national issue. Yeah. And we've raised that with the national government, even the president himself is aware. So what is the and, plan? And he gave a directive that uh, the institutions of government that normally uses uh, legumes and sometimes imported legumes to be able to feed the people should be able to utilize this. We are talking about the school feeding program in yeah. the Ministry of Education. We are talking about uh, uh, food uh, or, or uh, greens for, for NYS. We are talking about prisons yeah. and we are talking about also, if possible, the armed forces where they can be able to integrate uh, green grams in, in their diet yeah. so that our people don't have a problem having to sell this, this, uh, this product outside. Like that Indian may be true, business. Governor, but then how do you make sure that the money actually gets to the farmers? Because we've seen issues where, the, where many big institutions buy produce from farmers, but the money ends up with cartels. I know you are coming from the background of uh, the maize the issue. The issue. <laughs> and uh, I am glad it has happened when uh, we are heading there with uh, green grams, yeah. and therefore now we are more alert. The, a directive was given by the president and uh, the minister for devolution, Eugene Amalo, actually came to the Rakaniri and uh, he assured us that the next production or the next produce of the next season yeah. is going to be factored in in uh, the government program to be able to buy these uh, crops from the farmers. The only problem may be uh, farmers may have a certain 
a certain price in mind, yeah. a mindset of we must get uh, the green grams at this, uh, this price. But most of the time, this is normally dictated by, by the market price. Yeah. However, as a government, both the county and the national, we should find it uh, necessary and prudent sometimes to cushion our customers and make sure that we have subsidies that can cushion them against uh, very low prices, which okay. is sometimes below the... The, the, the amount of money or rather the cost of production. All right. Yes. And I want you to talk to me about healthcare and, and TN care to be specific, that I can need the care. But yes. then before we get into that, NTV took a spot check around that I can need the regarding the matter's health. Zainab? The residents of this county depend on the Chuka County Referral Hospital for treatment. Now, the hospital has faced a number of challenges, including shortage of drugs and lack of qualified medics to handle specialized equipment. But in the last year, the hospital has been attracting patients from even the neighboring counties due to the improved health services. And his Melita Oletengues took a trip to the hospital and highlights the strides taken by the county government in improving healthcare in this area this is the new face of the chuka county referral hospital which serves close to 400,000 residents of tarakanithi county it was not always the one-stop shop that it is just a few years ago the hospital was ridden by lack of drugs and shortage of staff the narrative however is quickly changing following the collaboration of the county government and the national government in improving health care in the county the latest addition to the hospital is this construction of an outpatient building which will cost close to 300 million shillings. It cannot become a referral hospital simply because you have made the pronouncements. That is where you find so many um, projects uh, being undertaken. The hospital has so far been able to offer radiology services and renal services to its patients, saving them the long trip to Nairobi. So whether it's... Um, pathological, even radiological, etc., etc., uh, and also the capacity to make uh, proper diagnosis and specialized uh, treatment. Uh, we have a black spot here near the bridge. Most of the patients, whenever there's an accident, they are brought here. So we are on the highway and uh, we handle most of the emergencies here. The maternity unit in particular has registered a high admission of expectant mothers who previously had to travel for a long distance for the services now offered in their backyard. I tell you, I'm a queer attendant to one of them and one of complication, but say I go sour. We are having patients coming from other counties, the neighboring counties of Embu, Meru, Isiolo coming all the way to seek services at Chuka Hospital. Just some few meters away from the hospital, the construction of the KMTC College is underway and the facility is expected to double up as a training center for medical practitioners. Improvement of infrastructure and specialized treatment has proven to be a turning point for the health sector here in Tarakanithi County. Residents can now confidently walk through that gate assured of their medical needs. Melita, Oletenges, NTV at the Chuka Referral Hospital, Tarakaniti County. All right, now in the last general election and in fact in previous ones, Tarakanithi has been considered a jubilee stronghold and the deciding factor when it comes to tipping the election scales. We went out to the streets of Chuka and spoke to some of the residents on the jubilee scorecard and here is what they had to say. Kusema ukweli serikali ya Jubiri saingine niniari wameweka juu sana tukisema ukweli kama vijana wa boda boda tunafinyika sana juu maisha imepanda sana wakati wa usaguzi walituambia ati tushague shuti sasa hiyo shuti ndio inatugonga sasa tunashindwa hii ni serikali ya ina gani sasa tunaulisha kutoka juu watu angalie huko mashinani kile kimenifurahisha kuna miradi kama sasa hii ya barabara Tunaona barabara sinatengenezwa pia barabara imeanza kupanuliwa. Oh, mbeleni tulikuwa tunanunuanga na miamonja na sasa tunanunuanga miamonja na 18 na tunaona kusema ukweli wakati tuko njiani tuwezi kupata pesa ka, nyingi kama pa, pale mbeleni. Shida ni moja. Sasa wakitaka kufanya kitu kama town kama hii chuka town hawatupeangi kama wananchi nafasi ya kuingilia ili tujue vyenye tutatatua miso. Juzi juzi walikuwa wametushika watu wa boda hapa wakatupeleka huko na ilikuwa kitu kidogo sana. 
Now those are sentiments from the residents of Chuka in Tarakanithi County. And of course, Trevor is sitting down with the governor of this great county in terms of what is happening. And we've heard about that story on the health care. It has transformed completely. And even people from different counties are also coming in to seek health care from this particular county. We've also listened to some of the residents talking about the Jubilee scorecard. It is considered a stronghold, Trevor. What do we have from the governor in terms of what uh, we've had? <laughs> Interesting, Zainab. In fact, that's where we start, His Excellency. The people of Tarakaniti are not very happy with the national government. In fact, they say, well, it will be to pig a kura suti, sasa yo suti ni natuumiza. Yeah. And we've also seen Mount Kenya leaders demand more of the national cake. What is your position on this? Uh, I will tell you what, uh, Trevor. The last time um, this county was in the opposition was way back before 2007. Uh, during the Kanu days. And therefore, that time we were used to hustling for on, on, on our own. Because yeah. we, we, yeah, the government never used to look away because we were basically op an opposition. And we didn't have the new, new constitution yeah. that ensures that uh, resources are shared uh, equitably, respective of where you voted. Mm -hmm. Now comes the new constitution, and uh, this particular region is, is now in the side of the government in that the government or the side they voted now form the government. Yeah. And therefore it means that expectations are, are, are very, very high. And uh, definitely because the performance of the government uh, across the board uh, because of the new constitution, uh, the, the Jubilee government does not uh, favor some sides. Yeah. It, it just has uh, uh, development distributed evenly almost through the whole throughout the country, even for those who did not vote. So do you still but, think but it's but a stronghold? Our, our people definitely feel that we should be getting more because yeah. of the way we voted, and I totally agree with them. Okay. Because uh, when you vote the way we vote, you know, in, in the Rakanidi, we, we, voting is a serious business. Yeah. We, we vote facing Mount Kenya, <laughs> and uh, it's, it, it's everybody, even the young yeah. ones who do not uh, know what we are voting for, say, come out and they vote, and we are voting vote. for what we have decided to vote for. All so right. we definitely expect more. Okay. Uh, but I would tell them that um, in, in building any building, we, first of all, you normally make the foundation. Yeah. The foundation normally takes longer. Yeah. And most of the times when you're doing the foundation, the passerbys and observers don't see anything because what goes down there in the foundation is, is what uh, really holds the rest of the structure. Yeah. And I believe the Jubilee government has been laying foundations. Yeah. The leaders uh, who were elected both uh, in the county and the national government, that is members of parliament and the Senate, I mean, uh, uh, which includes the Senate, yeah. We, we are doing something about what should be coming down there. I, mean, Governor, I can tell you how many yeah. infrastructure programs we have in place yeah. that uh, reach uh, very good stages in the national level, okay. and they're rolling out in the next few years. They'll be amazed at how much development we shall have here. Speaking of foundations, Governor, there's the TN Care. Speak to me about that very briefly. What should the people of Tarakanithi uh, expect TN from care TN Care is, uh, we, we realized in Tarakanithi when we took over that uh, our health state was deplorable because of uh, the very prolonged st strikes for health workers, almost six months. And therefore, even the immunization program, we realized that uh, we did not do anything about it. Yeah. That we were going to have a very big problem in the next five years. That you can see today, when we are having the, na the, the national campaign for the polio, they are talking about Meru, they are talking about uh, Embu and uh, about uh, Kitui. They are not mentioning the Caribbean because when we came in, we took care of that immediately okay. with the partnership with, uh, with the Red Cross. Now, the TN Care is a program we put in place to attain universal health care. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do is curb the diseases at preventive level, preventive level rather than wait up to the hospital where we go to curative level. It's cheaper to stop it at uh, home before it gets to the hospital by having people... Uh, taking care of health okay. back in the environment. Right. So what we have done to, to be able to achieve that is one, we have a very, very uh, act active program and very uh, aggressive on uh, what we call community health workers okay. who work around the villages mm -hmm. and door to door to okay. ensure that they understand the health of every home so that eventually the what can be stopped at home can be stopped at home by, by advice okay. on uh, diet, uh, the people who are out there probably they have, they, are, they have HIV and they don't take antiretroviral drugs. There are people to follow them up. Okay. We have mothers who probably are expectant and they, we expect them to be reminded that they have to go to the clinics in good time. 
and, and, and so on and so forth to ensure that uh, you, you take your children for immunization mm -hmm. to ensure that eventually we do not have a lot of problems at the hospital. Okay. At, All right. at the hospital. Governor, sorry also, to rush, you're running out of time. I know, yeah, I know, right. I know you're running yeah. out of time, but allow me to say the NHIF, yes. which is an, a, a very, very aggressive campaign by the national government or the whole Kenya is one of the, uh, the big four agenda. Yeah. We are on top of the things with that in Tarakanidi, where we, at the moment, we have uh, up to 45,000 families or right. homestead who have uh, taken up NHIF. Okay. And as a county, we uh, have decided to pay for 20,000 household. Right. Although we have said there's nothing for free. They have to pay half, we pay half. And then the remaining ones, we continue urging them to take uh, So uh, they NHIF. have to meet you halfway? Halfway. All right. And In of the course, of we the are handshake. building the hospitals. His Excellency, <laughs> thank you so much for making time <laughs> for us on TV. And thank you that. for hosting us. <laughs> Most welcome. All right.